Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna go to Primark today. It's been a hot minute since we did a shop with me in Primark. I think this is the first one of 2021 and we're in June. I did actually swing by there when they reopened after the lockdown restrictions eased for shops to obviously reopen again, but I couldn't find anything I really liked. I think they were sort of shifting some old stock and there weren't a huge selection of sizes in. So I told myself, beginning of June, I'll come back and uh, see if there's any summer stuff in. I also did a massive declutter of my wardrobe, so I already have plenty of summer clothes in, but I thought it'd be nice to go and have a little look, see if there's any summery little dresses. This one is actually an in the style dress, but some like this that have little sleeves, maybe see if they've got any play suits or jumpsuits, because I live in those for all the summer staycations we're going on this year, and anything Disney related, because we're going back to the Disney parks, maybe Paris this year, who knows, but definitely Florida next year, and you know I like to find the Disney things in store. I just love Primark so much, and I know a lot of you do too, so we're gonna go do a little shop with me, and then when we come back, I'll show you a little haul if I got anything good. Um, and if you're new here, big hello, welcome, I'm Brogan, and I do lots of travel, home, lifestyle, Disney, all sorts of fun content here on this channel, so please do click subscribe if you like this, give it a thumbs up, Let's go to Primark. <laughs> it's pretty busy in Bournemouth Town Centre today because it's been really sunny and so lots of people are at the beach and it's half term. However, it's just started raining, which is unfortunate, but I have just managed to get a parking space. So I'm gonna pay for the parking and then we're gonna go and reach in Primark. I hope it's all good today. Like I said, it has been busy, it is sunny. We are a beach town, so lots of people might have been shopping and I don't know what it's gonna be like, but um, yeah, oh, I do love Primark, guys. I do love Primark. I think I predicted right, because it looks like there's a queue. Oh, we don't like queuing in the rain. It's moving pretty quickly, but obviously the rain has brought lots of people off the beach and into the shops. I hope they've got some good stuff in. Ooh, like it, like it. These baskets must be so old. I'm gonna get one though. <laughs> It's inevitable, we're gonna need it. First things first, I love this long maxi dress, but inevitably no big sizes, which is so annoying. I only have six and eight and four. I didn't know they went that low, actually. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my God, they have matching shoes. How cute are they? This would look cute in an Instagram, wouldn't it? Holding the fake flowers with the little brown bag, like that. <laughs> I'm not doing a beach holiday, but that'd be a lovely, perfect beach bag for £12 with the little shells on it. They've got this blue and green sort of flower print everywhere. They have it in a cosy, they have it in another dress up there, but I can't get up there. And I don't know how anyone is meant to get anything down, but oh well. That's a nice little hat as well. More very cute bags. I love that. How sweet is that? Is that a bomb bag? Oh my god, that's adorable. Something I've wanted for a while is mum jeans, but in Primark, always go up in the jeans because they're really small, and denim shorts, anything denim, to be honest. Um, vintage leg, slim leg, mum jeans, high-waisted. That's sort of what I want, but it's the sizing. I think I picked the wrong day to come, guys. I wanted to pick up some little dresses like the one I'm wearing today. Um, I don't love that neckline, but that's a very pretty print that one's nice i can see that being very popular oh it's got buttons undone in the middle but not my thing i really love a midi skirt but again why these colors are really wintry i love that but for like autumn maybe hmm no not quite midi dresses maxi dresses they've definitely got some new stuff in just nothing that's really appealing to me yet i can't say how many people are staring at me i'm trying not to look it's the vlogger 101 rule just don't look at anybody else this is a cute little top i like the little slogan um self-love things these are really comfortable um bralettes if you're ever looking for anything like this and you don't like underwires at the moment then yeah they're great I have no idea how much they are though, because it doesn't say, oh, 10 pound, there you go. 10 pound for three. Wow, this is sort of borderline neon, but nice and bright. Not anything that's my cup of tea, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I spy Disney. These are fab for wet swimming cozies. These could be very good for future holiday. I quite like both of them actually. I wish you guys could tell me which one to pick. They have a matching bag to go with the 
bikini bag but I don't really like it very much. Summer, 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 summer accessories. Um, what have we got? Oh, I like the little white round bag. Oh, I like that. What is it with me and bags? So they're a bit lacking in sizing for some of the swimwear but I really love this. It's quite a simple bikini but I'm not a fan of um, smaller bottoms. I love a high-waisted bottom so Maybe I could mix and match it though, but they also have this style, hang on, there's two different ones, but this one, which is where the underwire sort of comes all the way in. Lots of trendy girls I see wearing these sort of things. I don't know how that would look on me, but I kind of like it. Okay, I'm in the shorts section. Looks like I've got a lot of like mom style shorts and they also have paper bag shorts, which I love. And then they also have these shorts. They're quite cute. They're not my style, but I like them. Oh, they're quite nice. They're very cute. I found some more cozies that are quite nice. I like that brown and white one. And then they also have this, which is gorgeous. Not for my body shape or anything that I'd buy, but I just think that's so lovely. Um, there's another one there. Um, I have actually picked one up. I'll show you, I picked up this one. Every summer, I always think about buying a big baggy shirt to wear over the top of swimwear. I think it looks really lovely, but the last two years, obviously we've not gone anywhere, been anywhere, done anything this summer and last summer, so. Probably not, but I love that look. Um, but what have we got in here? I quite like that shirt. If I was going to an event or a meeting or an interview or something, that's the kind of thing I would wear. I love that little crop top with a pair of high-waisted shorts. <gasps> Even those white high-waisted shorts would look lovely. Oh my gosh. But they don't have my size. I'm really struggling, guys. I can't find anything in my size. I love finding the Disney things. <laughs> and what have they got? Some cases some chargers nothing too exciting but still very cute do you know what Primark's workout gear is actually really decent I didn't know they did um, yoga mats this is a very pretty set I like this sports bra you could just wear that as a top couldn't you <laughs> so cute um, yeah I think I'm done with the workout stuff I don't really need much in here this is quite a clever little thing it's a bottle holder um, how much is it five pound and so if you go on a long walk and you're not taking a lot, maybe you're just carrying a bum bag and whatever, you can just take one of these as well and stick your water bottle in it. Quite good for dog walks and stuff. If you know me, you'll know I collect Disney pens like this that they sell in the parks and for some reason they started selling them in Primark. And so obviously I need to collect these. <laughs> if you've got kids, they have some fun stuff for the car and they have these um, car seat organisers so you hang them on the back of your chair so that the back seats can have stuff in them like little pockets oh my gosh i love it oh look at hawaiian style mini that's so cute i'm so impressed that they sell toys now disney toys like they're a lot cheaper than in the disney store like 10 pound it's a bargain isn't it makes me want them all but we know i've got a terrible obsession i need to calm down oh my gosh disney pet stuff i mean is this not the most broken thing you've ever seen I don't really need anything though, but I just love it. Oh my gosh, what is this? Why do I want that? I don't need that at all. It won't match our bathroom whatsoever. Oh my God, I love it though. <laughs> oh my gosh, mini makeup removable pads. Well. <laughs> right, we're heading over to the pajamas. Oh my gosh, they have these PJs that I've been looking for. I saw them online and the little beach huts. And if you know me and you watch some of my vlogs, go back and watch the beach hut vlog. Um, then you'll know that this is so me. And my friend Georgie said she wanted some, so I'm gonna get two of those. This is a pajama top, but I would genuinely wear that with a pair of shorts. It's so cute, but they don't have my size. Um, but, so, 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 so cute. Oh, look how cute these little pins are. Oh, they have different ones as well. Oh, I like the one that says love on the bottom. They also have ears, which actually are, are kind of nice. I actually quite like them. The 90s called, they want their bag back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so fun. Alrighty, I'm pretty exhausted now, but this is the quietest area in the whole shop. So just thought I'd have a little look at some of the shoes. Nothing that's really taking my fancy too much. I do like those though. Quite nice with a little platform. They're nice. Oh, and they're wide fit, but they only have size three. 
Oh wow, look at this homeware. This is amazing. I don't know where I'd put half these things, but I do like this little collection of pampas and whatnot. That's so nice. And look at these little bowls. Oh my gosh, I love those. Three pound. Oh, that's nice as well, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I love that. Six pound. I don't know where I'd put it, but I want it. <laughs> I've only ever seen cookie cutter sets like Disney ones like this in the Disney parks or Disney shop, like shop Disney stores. So that's quite cute. And they also have these muffin trays. I don't know what the hell I'm baking with them, but I feel like I need these. Oh my God, is that a bowl as well? That's a bowl as well, isn't it? Oh, Primark get me every bloody time. My bag is really heavy now, guys. Someone needs to take me out of the shop. Oh, I like this little collapsible. <laughs> Thing. What can I use that for? <laughs> Once we've finished our utility room, I'm going to come back and see if I need any more baskets because these are perfect. I just like this little one as well on the top here, two pound. It's quite good if you had like remote controls in your lounge, you didn't have a little basket for them or whatever. I love it. You know you should probably leave the store when your arm looks like this. <laughs> but I'm just going to pop upstairs because I want to have a look at the men's and also the queue is massive downstairs so let's see if there's any better upstairs do you know what that was actually quite successful i got two bags i can't remember the last time i got two bags in primark i have to admit wasn't a lot of clothes <laughs> there's quite a lot of stuff that i bought um did i need any of it absolutely not did i put some money aside to treat myself to a big primark shop yes i did does it feel great yes it does <laughs> what can i say i love primark i could have been in there much longer but my hour my car parking was up i do actually have to run a couple more errands go to a couple more places but once we get home we'll film the haul i shouldn't be let in primark after long periods of time because clearly i just go mad so in the first bag we have a bag a bag and a bag i actually saw this at the front of the store and i went back for it it was hanging on its own and I figured I didn't necessarily need a beach bag right now. Let me just put that down there. However, it was just such a nice size and only £12. And the straps were great for sort of thrown over your shoulder. I really liked the detailing on it. And yeah, I'm not going on any hot holidays anytime soon. But this is the kind of thing I'd love to take on a cruise or if I go on a beach holiday. Or, I don't know, it's just quite a handy little bag, beach bag. So I picked it up because it's one of those things that... I knew I would have regretted it if I didn't get it. Next, I got the little t-shirt that I showed you that says self-love, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness. And it was only four pounds. And I really like just plain white tees at the moment to wear with shorts or midi skirts, high-waisted skirts, that kind of thing. Um, and I just thought it was quite nice. It's very subtle and cute. And for four pound, you just can't go too wrong, can you? So got a little t-shirt. I showed you a lot of the swimwear. They had some really lovely pieces in, actually. Primark swimwear is a little hit and miss. Sometimes I've had pieces that have been great. Others haven't lasted so long. I haven't actually bought any Primark swimwear for a while, but I saw this adorable set, and I just had to have it. I'm a high-waisted bikini girl, so saw these bottoms at first, and I was like, oh, wow, love them. So, yeah, and they look like they'd give me, like, a decent amount of coverage on the bum, too, because a lot of the bikinis now... They do go up quite high and I'm just not that comfortable with it. So these bottoms were five pounds. I've not had a bikini top like this for a long time, actually. I quite liked how it looked a little bit like a crop top and it was only eight pounds for the top. Um, and yeah, just really, really pretty. We're doing some staycations this year. Some of them have got hot tubs and I don't always like being in a full cosy. So I just thought this would be perfect for that, but we'll see what it looks like on. Right, it's the next day and it's me again. <laughs> and I just thought I'd tell you that I tried this on. The bottoms were fine in the 16, but I went up in the um, top. So I went back today to get the 18 because the bandeau area was smaller than I would have liked. So the actual width of it is fine. It's just, yeah, it's not the best cosy in the world, but look, it's cute. And then while I was there, I also saw that they had a matching caftan. So I did get this in the 14 to 16, but again, wish I'd sized up. I'm so between these sizes and it's driving me mad. So anyway, um, it does look cute though with the matching 
bikini and then I also got this one which looks so cute but again the 16 bottoms are fine the top I got in an 18 because I figured I might have the same problem because the cup area is just so small but it's fine it is a bit baggy it's like too wide around me but oh I don't know I just can't get it right and again for the price I mean it's just so cheap and it's just a perfect little you know I can wear it in the garden um, and then while I was also there I got these pedicure gel socks because I've seen um, Kyla talk about this from Miss Budget Beauty and these are only £3. I've never used anything like them but you basically put them on and then they help um, soften up your feet. And then last but not least I also saw these little shorts that I didn't spot yesterday. They are actually Disney ones. I'm not massively sold on the pattern but I just thought they were quite cute and comfy. And I've tried them on and they fit perfect. High-waisted, little pockets and they were £10. Oh no, £8. £8. So yeah, they did have a matching jumper as well, but I didn't want the jumper. So that is all the extra things that I swapped out and picked up. Next, I got a cover-up. Again, this is one of those items that's like, I'm not going on a hot holiday, but the last time I packed, I think it was the cruise in January 2020, I said to myself, I must pick up a plain white simple cover up when I'm next in Primark. I got an extra large because I like to have them nice and baggy. Plus you can cinch this one in I think with the strings but it's just plain white with floaty arms and uh, to be honest perfect for the UK as well. I go, do go to the beach and um, I can pack it when we go on little trips and stuff and it's just a really nice easy thing to throw on top of a bikini. For £10 you just can't go too wrong. I bought a pair of shoes. These are heels. Once again, do I need heels for anything right now? No, I do not. Uh, but last time I was looking for black heels, I looked in my collection and I remember thinking Primark is the place because I've always bought my heels from Primark. I know I'm gonna want a pair of really good plain black heels that aren't too high. Um, and these were perfect. You know when you see something on the shelf and you're like, you're coming home with me. So yeah, they are basically just heels just like I've had before but they were only £12 and just replacing my old horrible ones so got those. Next I got pyjamas which I do not need pyjamas but I couldn't help myself. Uh, some of you might know that my family have a beach hut and I stay there during the summer and I found the beach hut pyjamas. Are these not the most perfect thing you've ever seen? My friend Georgie loved them as well um, so I picked her up some. Got a pair of plain high-waisted pants, love these. They're nice and soft, £2.50. I buy all my pants from Primark and if you listen to our podcast, you'll know I like high-waisted knickers every no once in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I like high-waisted pants 90% of the time. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-warn you, the next set of stuff is so random and mostly Disney. So this is for the Disney people out there. If you're not into Disney, you might wanna just leave, but um, <laughs> I'll try and show you the non-Disney stuff. I picked up a couple of Gift bags, it's some of my girlfriend's birthdays coming up. They're all at the same time. I picked up a couple of these nice bags for a pound each. Love that, one pound for a gift bag. This is so random. It's an outdoor dry bag. It was three pound 50 and I thought this could be quite handy for the summer for dog stuff, for any adventures we go on, um, any, like, you know when you have a poo bag and you have to carry it for ages? I thought it could be quite good for something like that or putting our gadgets in if we do some sort of like water activity. I don't know, I saw it and thought that is something that could be quite good to chuck in amongst our like camping um, staycation stuff. I think this might be the last non-Disney thing. Um, I've been waiting to buy one of these in Primark for basically the last year. Uh, it's a glasses uh, necklace holder that I'm gonna use for my face mask. Woo, two pound. Never ever thought um, that's where we'd be, but here we are. I went a bit nuts on the Disney pouches. So I got these ones that were five pound for two. And these are just so handy for wet swimwear, wet stuff. I do an aqua class, aqua fit every Tuesday and I needed like a clear big pouch to put my cosy in. So this is actually perfect for that. But if and when we go back to Disney, Florida, these are gonna be great for um, the parks and stuff. I just thought they were fun, so I did pick up those. And then I also saw this one, which <laughs> I did not need this at all, but it was three pounds, and it's just a clear case, got a little bit of tissue in it, um, clear little pouch with a B on it. I really like stuff like this for putting uh, leads, memory cards, 
batteries, uh, all sorts of things, and I just couldn't help myself. Pens wise, I got these two. They were one pound fifty each. So I got the pink mini with the bow and the uh, Winnie the Pooh cream one they had so many in there i could have bought more they're going to go in my pen pot where i collect these pens why did i start doing that collecting disney pens like that but i do i collect them picked up the reusable makeup pads these little mickey shaped cloths these are amazing i love these well the the ones i have are properly branded but these are only two pound fifty even the little pouch is cute <laughs> gonna keep it oh it's so cute so obviously you just get these wet and then you can remove most of your makeup before you go in with your cleanser and yeah love them i just look so cute got these little pins just could not help myself on these three pound i really want this in a key ring and this to put on my keys but i just thought these were so lovely these would look great on a bag or a denim jacket or whatever but i am actually just gonna put them on my pin board which are just down there actually and then last but not least i picked up the householdy bits so i got the muffin tray that do you know what this would be amazing for ice cubes like massive mickey ice cubes or just for making treats or i could actually make muffins um mickey shaped muffins shall we do another disney day at home this summer guys because benji and i did one last year and i feel like that could be really fun if i decorate everything disney style and we could have some friends over too this time but got those they were £3.50 got the bowl they only had three of these left it was only £5 plastic bowl this is just perfect for popcorn snacks crisps um, and I love the fact it's plastic because the last Disney bowls I bought from Shop Disney are China and I feel really like worried I'm gonna smash them so if we host a party or whatever this summer then this is kind of perfect for that five pound and then i also got the lunch boxes these are so great four pound set of three okay so the first one is strawberry mickey mini mini then oh lime <laughs> and then obviously they go down in sizes um oh just a mixture of sort of fruit and lolly design these are just so so handy sometimes i use them for our own food and snacks and like if we do a little picnic but also they're quite handy for anything for bonnie as well so um yeah we'll see what i end up using them for but either or it's great so that is everything i bought in primark pretty decent shop not loads of summery clothes because of the sizing issue but i am always popping back in there so do keep an eye on my vlogs and follow me on instagram because i share lots of daily updates and stuff that i don't share when i'm not doing vlogs so do come over there and if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed already please click Click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you'd like more come shop with me's let me know which shops you want to see me have a look in next so anyway have a lovely rest of your day thanks for watching this video and i'll see you again in the next one bye